Hey everybody, I am excited to teach you a few little tricks about fetish. I'm going to show you how to do the cast on, I'm going to teach you how to work with the beads, and then I'll show you one of the really cool ways that I like to wear it. So let's jump right in with the cast on. If you are a member of Lola's Choice, you got a crochet hook and you can use that crochet hook for this trick. If you are not a member of Lola's Choice, just grab a small crochet hook out of your stash. What you're going to do is make a slip knot and put that slip knot onto your crochet hook and tighten it down a little bit. And then you are going to grab your ring and basically what you're going to do is follow the directions on the pattern but let me show you what that looks like. You're going to hold your hook in your right hand and the ring in your left hand with the hammered side of the ring facing. If you look at the ring you'll see that it has a smooth side and a hammered side. Hold it with the hammered side facing and then reach into the ring with your hook, yarn over with the yarn and bring it back out. Do you see that? So now you have two loops onto your hook. And then dipping behind the ring, so going this way, rather yarn over again and pull it through that yarn over through both the loops on your hook. Now let's do that again, okay? So I'm going to go inside the ring, grab a yarn over, and now I'm going to make a yarn over over the hook and I'm going to pull both of those loops through. So now I've got what you can see, I've got two chains. I've done that twice. So I'm going to do it three more times. That's one, that's two, and that's, sorry guys, three. So if you get a little lost, you can count back and you can see at the top of the ring that I've got one, two, three, four, five, because you did it four times more. So you'll have five stitches total going, or chains going right there. And now what you're going to do is place that last loop onto a needle. So you can get rid of the crochet hook, place that lapse last loop onto a needle, and then turn your work so that the needle, I'm going to actually just move that so the needle isn't twisted there. So the needle is in the right hand and the ring is in the left hand with the wrong side facing. And now what I'm going to do is pick up and knit one stitch in each chain along the ring. So I'm going to go underneath that chain, grab a loop, and pull it through. And then I'm going to go underneath that chain, grab a loop, pull it through. Underneath that chain, grab a loop, let me grab a loop, pull it through. Underneath that chain, grab a loop, pull it through. And then one last time at the end there and grab that loop and pull it through. And now you should end up with six stitches on your needle. Perfect. And now you're going to turn your work and you are on the right side of your work and you're just going to work a knit row to get yourself all set up. So you're going to knit across. One, whoops, it always happens when you guys are watching. Two, three, four, five, six. And now you're going to turn to your wrong side and you are going to knit one, purl four, knit one. So knit one, and then remember guys, I purl funny. One, two, three, four, and now I'm going to knit one again. And now you're at the beading, which is what I wanted to show you. So that's why I just had you watch me work a few rows like that. So now what you're going to do is knit two and slip one bead and knit two. So you're going to knit two and then you're going to bring your yarn to the front of your work. You're going to go down your work. You're going to grab one bead and slide it up so it's touching the right hand needle. You're going to take the next two stitches and slip them without twisting them. So slip them purlwise onto the right hand needle and then bring your yarn to the back of your work and 
and knit two. So what you'll see you did there is you didn't work those center two stitches. Do you see that? So you knit two, you just slip these stitches and you knit two. And now the wrong side row is the same where you're going to knit one, purl four, knit one. And you're going to continue on like that. When the pattern tells you to slip two beads, you'll slip two beads. When the pattern tells you to slip three beads, you'll slip three beads. And just follow it exactly as written. And let me show you what that ends up looking like on the actual cuff or necklace, whichever you want it to be. So you can see you slipped one bead three times, you slipped two beads twice, you slipped three beads three times, two beads twice, and then you've got five rows of just one bead and you continue on like that, you end up with this like little snake. Now one thing that you guys are going to notice is that this kind of rolls, those side stitches, those knit two side stitches, roll to the back side of the strand. They are totally supposed to do that. That is the architecture of the piece. So don't be surprised when that happens, okay? It is completely intentional. You have enough yarn in your pattern to size this. Sorry, you have enough yarn in your kit to size this. If you have any questions about sizing, that's written out in the pattern, and then you can ask in the Ravelry group. I'll have a little thread knit along going for this. So ask questions if you have questions about sizing. You definitely have enough yarn to play a bit. If you feel like you try the cast on once or twice and your yarn is funky, just cut off that bit and start with fresh yarn. You definitely have enough. And I have tons more here if somebody runs into a problem and needs more. Don't worry about it. Okay. So then, the last thing I wanted to show you is wearing fetish. One thing you can do is wear it as a necklace that's pretty simple and self-explanatory. Let me kind of hold it down a little so it can focus. The other thing you can do is wear it as a bracelet and just wrap it simply right that, like that. And then you'll clasp it in the back. Let's see if I can do this one-handed on video. Might um, get Anna's hands in here as well. Let's see. So you can see you got both your clasps right there, and then you can just clasp it together. I did it without Anna, maybe. There we go. Oh yeah, we're like clapping over here. So you can wear it like that, right, where you've just wrapped it around. Or if you want to go Wonder Woman style, which I think, you know, is appropriate right now, what you'll do is take one strand and go over the ring and then underneath, and then you'll take the second strand and do the exact same thing across, over, and then underneath. And then you'll pull it tight and clasp it in the back, just like in the photo. Okay? And that's a really fun way to wear it. It keeps it from moving as much. So if you find that it's loosening up and you need to tighten it up a little bit, just wear it like that and clasp it in the back. Pretty fun. The other thing, if you're going to wear it as a necklace, is you can wear it with the strands coming off the sides, or you can actually move the strands so they're up at the top and touching and wear it like this. So you have a lot of possibilities, and I hope that you guys have fun with fetish. I'm a little excited to see you find other rings and try this with different colors of yarn. I have a few rings that I've been kind of holding onto that I'm going to dig out in the coming week or two and knit a few more fetishes for friends. That's a thing, fetishes for friends. So happy fetish knitting, everyone. See you in the Ravelry group.